Good afternoon, sir. Could we interest you in some chocolate? Chocolate? Did you say chocolate? Yes, sir. With or without nuts. Chocolate? Chocolate! 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 Ch Hi, Catnap. How did you sleep? Uh, hello. Not very much. I had a strange dream. And what did you see in your dream? You were there without legs. Oh, what a horror! You know, when I have nightmares, I always drink milk. Would you like to try it? I just have a little left. Um, okay. <sighs> Is this chocolate milk? Yes. I love chocolate milk. And you? You know I'm allergic to chocolate. Oh, I'm sorry, Katna. I completely forgot that you are allergic to chocolate. Ah ha ha. There just isn't a large selection of milk in the store. But our store has been closed for a week now because Kissy Missy has disappeared. Where did you get this chocolate milk? Um, in a trash container near the store? <sighs> what? Kissy, give it back. It's mine. No way. You took new legs from my store and didn't pay. So now this bone is mine. Oh, just kill me. Okay, class. Let's start. Today, we're going to learn about the letters in the alphabet. Are you seriously teaching us the alphabet in 11th grade? Yep. I like going over it. It sticks better that way. Going over it for 11 years straight? Oh, I know the letter I. Because it's in your name. In my name? I'm definitely going to freak out with you guys someday. Hey, everyone. We're having a drill today. So when you hear the alarm, just stay put and keep studying. Bye, guys. Oh, come on. Why a drill? Nobody learns anything in this school. Everyone's dumb. All right, let's begin. So the first letter we're going to learn is P. Why not A? Why P? I've got my own alphabet, and P is the first letter in it. Did someone call me? No, we're talking about the letter P. But my name starts with P. Yeah, but your name's not P. It's Pomni. Oh, hey, I'm here. What did you want? One more dumb move like this, and I'll burn you all myself. It's a drill. Poppy said stay put. Um, doesn't feel like it to me. Why? All right, let's write down the next letter. O. Um, Miss Delight, there's fire behind you. That's impossible. I know you're itching to leave early, but you're not going anywhere until we finish the alphabet. Weird. Why is it so hot in here? Oh, Fo, just turn around already. Ah! Fire! Everyone out! We're on the first floor, so everybody out the window! Uh, brain dead idiots. Okay, maybe I'll just go home and play video games or something. Jerk! You can't just barge into my room, breaking my door whenever you feel like it! You'll regret throwing me against this damn wall, you purple freak! Come at me! It's time for you to go to bed, buddy! We need to stop this somehow! But how? If we step in, we'll get beaten up too! I don't care! Come on, Haggy! You're a man, so go and break up their fight! No, Haggy, Dog Day can't do it because he doesn't have legs! Oh my god. What's going on here? You asked Bobby to bring Nightmare Catnap to you, so you could enroll him in our school. And he didn't do it? No, he did. But he also smashed Catnap's door and insulted Dog Day rudely, calling him a yellow piece of shit. I see. I'll deal with them right away. Hey, you two! Stop it right now! Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have ignored Miss Poppy the doll because she can get angry. Whoa! She's so cool! I want to do that too! Yeah! Skull fight! Listen up! You lazy, arrogant asses! Another hundred push-ups? If you do even one less, you'll be scrubbing toilets with my toxic shit instead of eating lunch! Clear? Why the hell did I end up in this juvie? I didn't even say anything to Poppy! Shut up! This is payback for bullying me in class! No talking! Zip it! You two, 50 more push-ups! What the fuck? Make it a hundred more, you pathetic purple bunny! 
Final and toughest challenge of the day! You must swim across the crocodile pool, crawl under barbed wire through a minefield, climb the rope to the tower, and eat a slice of pizza. There are only six slices, so some of you won't get it. Those who don't get pizza stay in this juvie with me for another week. Got it? Uh, but I can't climb the rope. Uh, I can't swim! I don't eat pizza! I love sushi! Kissy, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, I just helped Dog Day move by tying him to 537 helium balloons while he was sleeping. But he floated away, and the school administration still can't find him. Help me! Uh, uh. On your marks, get set, go! <laughs> Thanks, but I have to run. Spending another week with you doesn't exactly top my to-do list. No! Oh, take me along, damn it! Ah! You little shithead bear! Oh, hell. Okay. Hold on tight, you idiot, or I'll drop you right into their hands. You know, I, I never thought we'd end up helping each other someday. Yeah, maybe you're not such a disgusting jerk as I thought. Oh, pass me the soap. Sure, here you go. No, what the hell are you doing? Stop it! I'm not your damn towel, dude. Let me go, you moron! Ah! Bobby! I can't freaking stand you! Is that a flower? You know I get sick from flowers? Kissy Missy seems upset today, but don't worry. I'm sure you two will make up, especially since it's her birthday tomorrow and you can make it right. Yeah, yeah, I understand, but if you get her a good gift, everything will be fine, you know? Just don't give her chocolate milk, because Catnip will be at the birthday party too. Did you say my name? Oh, uh, oops, Catnap? Didn't expect to see you? <laughs> How are you feeling? My, good. Good to hear. <laughs> you know, I kind of lost it that time and shouldn't have eaten your legs. I hope you're okay. Uh, it's okay, Catnap. The new metal legs from the ballerina suit me fine. Oh, God. Sorry about that. Let's forget about it. Want to go to the school cafeteria and grab a snack? Let's go. They're giving out fresh chocolate pie right now there. <gasps> you know, I hate everything with chocolate. Catnap, I'm sorry. I didn't know you don't eat chocolate pies either. I thought it was just chocolate milk. For this, I'll must have kill you. Catnap, wait. I've got an idea. They also have lemon pies at the cafeteria. Oh, really? I love lemon pies. So, are we going? Holy crap. Why is the toilet paper at school so damn rough? My butt's itching like crazy. Uh... Huh? What do we have here? Uh... Oh, hey, Bobby. Good to see you here. I could really use someone's help. Um, fine. I'll pretend I don't give a crap what you're doing here. Hand me the quantum amplifier, please. Okay. So, how are your new classmates? You guys getting along? Well, if don't count the fact that they're complete idiots, then yes. Great. As the school director, I care about the emotional well-being of our students. Give me the nuclear spectrometer. And also the quantum diffractometer. Um, listen, it's none of my business, but what the hell is going on? I just want to resurrect Mummy Longlegs because she got killed in the second episode. Why though? She used to work as a cook at our school, and ever since she died, we've been eating dead rats and cockroaches. Buh, yummy. Step back now. One, two, three! <laughs> Whoa, I'm alive again! Mommy is here! Good to hear. Being dead was really tough. And when I was dead, they said I could come back as a trash container. But as soon as I wanted to say yes, you made me alive again. Oh, what a bummer. It's okay. I'm happy to be back. Now, I'll be feeding everyone with my cooking again. And if you don't like it, 
then I'll stuff it down your throat and you'll die a painful death. <laughs> you know, I'm starting to regret you bringing her back. Everything's all right. She'll be fine soon. <laughs> Are you completely nuts? Well, I need to go now. Dog Day stuck in the toilet, and I need to help him. By the way, Bobby, you didn't forget about Date X, did you? No, don't remind me of that. See you, Bobby. I hate your cooking. What did you say? Get over here, you little brat. You'll regret that. Ah! Hey, guys, what are you drinking? If you suggest chocolate milk right now, you might lose your hands. I wouldn't mind, though. Oh, no, I, I only have one pack. But actually, I wanted to ask you guys, where's Poppy? Why the hell do you need her? Oh, just wanted to ask her out on a date. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny with you guys? Forgive me, but you shouldn't do that. Why? Because you're a pathetic piece of shit. What did you say, freaking jerk? I'm kidding. She won't date you, because she's older, and besides, you don't have legs. Yeah, legs are a problem. I need to go to the Kissy Missy store. Oh, I'm in. I was just thinking of getting myself a new eye. Does she really have a store, or is it a human meat market? All right, then, I'll go get some new legs. Thanks for the help, guys. Oh, by the way, does anyone want this milk? No, wait, catnap, I didn't offer it to you, no! Ah... Well, that's going too far, mate. True. Maybe I should stick a bottle into your ass, too. Ah! Ah! Jax, it's yours first day at school, and you're already in my office. How come? I didn't do anything. I just wanted to be buds with Bobby. If you think calling me a cute mean ball and then telling me to go cry in the school bathroom is how to be friends, then that's a bad start. You just need to learn to control your anger, buddy. Do you want me to pass gas in your face again, you long-eared idiot? Bobby, he's just trying to be friends. You need to stop acting like this and apologize. What? Apologize to this dumbass. No way. Then I'll have to put you on homeschooling. No, not homeschooling. Then I'll be alone and can't bully anyone. Um, Jax, listen, I want to, um... What do you want, Bobby? I want... Yeah, spill it. What do you want? Uh, I want to say to you, um... Uh, Come on, man, just say it. I'm so... Say it, Bobby, just say I it. I want to say so to you, um... Come on, say it. Come on, Bobby, no one's gonna judge you. Say it, Bobby, say it! I want! I want you to take your rude, purple, moldy, fungus-covered butt and get out of this school through the window and touch on the grass when you fall. Otherwise, I'll take a tuberculosis-infected mop that cleans not only the school toilet, but also the homeless shelter toilet and shove it down your throat so deep that it pierces your lungs, damaged by HQD, and comes out your stinky rear. That's okay. Oh. Sorry, I meant to say, excuse me. Time for you guys to hit the head. Heavy artillery time. <laughs> It's all because of you idiots. We're gonna get expelled now. Sorry guys, but you can't study with everyone at school for now. You're off to juvie. Sweet dreams. Good evening, dear viewers! Tonight's scary news is brought to you by me and your favorite host, Kissy Missy. Hi, everyone! So, let's get started. After the second game with dragons, everything went downhill. Firstly, Miss Delight got eaten by a dragon and doctors still can't get her out. Secondly, Catnap went nuts after not winning the tomato factory and decided to eat all the existing tomatoes in the world, but couldn't, and now he's in critical condition in the hospital. Also, Pomni, the winner of the second game arrived at her factory, where she was immediately crushed by a giant statue of Dog Day in a tomato. What the hell is my statue doing there anyway? Hey, we're in live, idiot! Oh, what was I- Oh yeah! And finally, Bobby crapped a freaking ton! What?! At my house! You little- Oh! Um, Kissy? Well then, it's been Kissy Missy and Dog Day until the next news! Somebody get me out! Shut up, stupid brainless teacher! Otherwise, I'll throw you out the window right now! Tomatoes! I can't feel my limbs! What the hell? Where's that damn doctor? Hi, everyone. Well, your doctor is here. What the hell are you, a doctor? Me? Oh, no, I'm not a doctor. I'm a nurse. Your doctor is mommy. Who's hurting where? Hey, Catnap, how you feeling? <laughs> Got it, Kissy. Bring me a full syringe of chocolate milk. <laughs> 
I hate chocolate milk. That's the spirit. Oh, Kessie, bring me a bicycle tire pump. What? Don't worry, it won't hurt. No, stop. How what? How is this possible? Hmm, this one's a bit more complicated. I'm kind of used to it, so we can just leave everything as is. Oh, uh, no way. You still gotta teach and chase after kids. We can't be without a teacher. Kissy, bring me the spiciest pepper. <gasps> well, that's that. So are you really a doctor? My finger's cut. Can you fix it? What? Blood? Ah! Hey, Catnap, open the door. I got a surprise for you. Catnap, I hear you in there. Yeah, open up this darn door, you angry bony sack. What did you say? Oops, oh, um, who are you? Where's Catnap? It's me, idiot. Because of that chocolate milk you gave me again yesterday, I had an allergy and turned into this creature. Oh, that's terrible, Catnap. I didn't expect that. Maybe some soft lotion for feet might help. I got some left. Are you still mocking me? Want to see me eat the rest of your body? Uh, no, of course not, Catnap. I just... Somebody called me. What? Another Catnap? How's that possible? I have a machine at home that can clone bodies. So I made a couple of dozen copies of myself just in case. Really? That's so cool. Can I see? No way, asshole. He's kidding. This is my twin brother. Hey, bro fools. <laughs> So you guys are brothers? You never told me you had a brother, Catnap. That's because we're not blood brothers. I was adopted from a shelter when we were really little. But I don't remember you, even though I've been friends with Catnap my whole life. I lived in the basement, which explains why I look like this. Who else did it bring? Sorry for busting your door. Hate waiting. Hey, nightmarish catnap. You're awaited by Poppy and Miss Delight to enroll you in our school. Wait, you guys know each other? Yeah, I've known him for like 10 years. But how? He's been living in catnap's basement all this time, dummy. But why didn't I know about this? Are you kidding me? Am I your mommy to know everything for you? Also, you owe me 10 bucks for that chocolate milk you bought yesterday. And if you don't pay me today, you'll end up without hands, all you yellow piece of shit. Okay, I've gone too far. Gonna go scare some kids. Is it just me, or does this little jerk get away with too much? Alright folks, so today we've got a new student joining us. What? New what? student? Yay, a new friend? Who's that? So who is it? I don't give a crap, as long as he's smarter than you guys. Oh yes, Bobby, he's smart enough. And I'm sure you'll get along fine. Maybe he'll be my new boyfriend? Or maybe it's a girl? Do we know him? Yes, you definitely know him, Pomni, because it's Jax from the Digital Circus. Hey there, handsome folks. We're glad to have you, Jax. You can take any seat you like. Jax? What the heck? What are you doing here? Same as you, silly. Oh, what a cute little bear. Is he really from this class? Call me that cute little bear one more time, and this day will be your last in this class. Oh, how adorable. This lovely fluffball is getting angry. What did you call me, long-eared freaking bastard? All right, guys, stop it. I knew it wouldn't be easy for you to get along, but we don't have a choice here. I don't want to study with this skinny purple retard. Let him fail. What did you say? I'm not talking about you, kitty. Chill out. So you don't want to study with me? Maybe you'd rather go cry in the school bathroom? Oh my god, he's so cool. I swear one more word from your rotten mouth, and you'll see what this cute little teddy bear is capable of. Enough. We didn't gather here for this. We're here for friendship and to- Shut up! Beat up Mug! I'm not done with him yet! So listen up, you piece of cringe. I run this class of idiots, and I decide what happens here and how. And if you dare to take my place, the only thing you can count on is getting the hell out of here before I chop off those crappy ears of yours and stick them up your ass. Well done, little bear. Impressive. Did you rehearse that speech for long? Ah! Guys, stop it right now! We have a lesson! <laughs> Oh my god, he's so cool when he fights. I want him to be my new boyfriend. Haggy, we're breaking up. Get this psycho off me. Oh, so now I'm not a cute little bear anymore, huh? You son of a bitch. Catnap, help! So is this how every lesson is gonna go now, Miss Delight? Today's lesson is canceled. Everyone go home, and you two, to the principal's office, now! I didn't get to rip off this jerk's ears, oh... Just dare to touch my ears. Um... Feeling sleepy. Happy birthday to you! Thank 
you. I'm so happy that you all came to my birthday. We don't give a shit about you. But where's Haggy? Haggy, why are you late? Well, never mind. I don't care. Where's my damn gift? Wow, what's this? Colored pencils? Thank you, Haggy. Kissy, I think these pencils look like, um... They're just pencils to me. Because I love to draw. I mean, this is a weapon with Miss DeLay's pencils. What? What do you mean? Haggy, is this true? Did you steal Miss DeLay's weapons? Holy crap, where's my weapon? It's gone! Oh, now this is getting interesting. Want some chips? Haggy, you can't do that! You can't steal Miss DeLay's weapons to congratulate me on my birthday. That's it, Haggy. I'm upset. Get the hell out of my birthday! Do you think it's so easy to steal my stuff? You're dead freaking wrong, you piece of trash! And so every birthday, I'm going to my room. Sue, how's my pie? Like a dog shit. True. Um... How did he know about that ingredient? We agreed to keep it secret from everyone. <laughs> guys, today we've got a test. What? Who wrote this on the board? Haggy? He's not asleep. He's just ignoring me, so we can't discuss our relationship problems. Damn, my legs are getting swollen. But they're made of metal. Yeah, and that's why they make an electronic sound when you fart. <laughs> Enough! You guys are driving me crazy. Ah! Glamour will start writing the test. Um, Miss Delight, if you keep sneaking up on us like that, it's gonna be hard for us to take the test. Okay, then I'll ask questions, and you'll look at me and write down the answers on a sheet. And the first question, what's 2 plus 2? 37! Are you stupid? How 37 is 28? How can you not know that? Sick of these freaking annoying jerks. Do you guys happen to have a spot for me? Um... Oh yeah, great. Now I'll be here. So what do we have here, a test? Stop! You can't be here, Critter. You're in second grade, and this is the 11th. Oh, come on. Do you think I can't handle your program? Besides, it's impossible to sit with those degenerates. They're incredibly dumb. <laughs> then let's see how you write this 11th grade test. All right, class, what's 2 plus 2? Are you serious? 37. 28. Uh, kill me. 4. Wrong. What do you mean? It's 49. Are you sure you can work as a teacher? Yeah, why? But you don't even know the answer to... Ah, uh, forget it. Class is over. Now everyone get out of the classroom so you can run away from me, and I'll chase you and try to kill you. But we just started. You know what? I changed my mind. I don't want to study in your class anymore. You're just as brainless idiots, and shove this test up your ass, Miss Delight. Got it? Ugh. Damn, what the hell did I do to deserve all of this shit? Hey, Catnap, good to see you. You know what day it is today? Uh, no. Today's chocolate milk day. Are you sick of living? Chill out. I won't offer you chocolate milk. I've got strawberry milk instead. We can drink it to celebrate. So on chocolate milk day, we're celebrating with strawberry milk? Yeah, sounds weird, but no other options. Are you in? Fine, give it to me. Uh, uh, this is chocolate milk! Catnap, I'm sorry. I got confused. I have your strawberry milk. You know what's coming for lying to me. Spare me, Catnap. I just grabbed myself chocolate milk for this occasion. But please don't eat my legs. Kissy Missy doesn't have any normal legs left in the store. Meow. Why does this taste like a dumpster? Did you get it from the dumpster again? Um, I just like milk from the trash container. <laughs> but yours, the strawberry one, it's fresh. <sighs> Catnap, wait! No! <laughs> hey, Kissy Missy, why are you crying? Nobody loves me. Well, I love you. I don't give a shit about you. Huggy Wuggy doesn't love me. You know, you're not alone in this. Ketnep hates me after yesterday. Why's that? I offered him chocolate milk, forgetting he's allergic. And he ate my legs. Ooh. And by the way, everyone thinks you're missing. I'm missing in the game? Because that's how the script goes. But now we're not at work, we're backstage. And all these days I've been crying here alone. <laughs> um... <laughs> Listen, I can talk to Huggy about you if it makes you feel better. Really? Sure. But it's hard for me to move since I have no legs, and finding Huggy might take a while. Oh, 
You know, I think there were a couple of spare legs left in my store. Follow me. A few moments later. Um, so you sell legs? Yes. In my store, we have a variety of goods. I can offer you a skull, a cactus, a fart bag, a galactic blaster, a live chicken, and even chocolate milk. Kissy, no! What have you done? You shouldn't have said chocolate milk. Chocolate milk? Yes, chocolate milk. Kidnap might hear it. Why can't I say chocolate milk? I have lots of chocolate milk in my store. Who said chocolate milk? I hate chocolate milk. Two hours later. So what were you saying about catnip? Never mind. Oh look, there are pink legs left. Want them? Okay, I'll take them. 